Greetings and salutations. This your boy D Boom for LOE Ascension, aka LOE Astrology. Be back. Saving water for last. So we're just gonna kick start with the Earth signs for this first three video series. I'm gonna wrap it up tonight with water. In the middle of the day, I'm going to get out some karmic messages. So yeah, I'm pretty much spent today. But let's get it. If you need a reading from me, just holla at me. Only 35 bucks, best money you ever spend. You'd be surprised what um, the power of information can really give you, you know? Get this coffee, perk the fuck up. Don't take it off of Capricorns. Was Bracken. A little message for you. Did I just, did I, did I shuffle? I don't know. I like, the, I like the message. Let's get with it. So, overall energy is fairly important. That goes on with Capricorns overall and in general. Bottom line is very important. Something you're really going to have to take into consideration throughout this whole message. We have the Capricorn woman up top. Capricorn masking at the bottom because y'all both different. <clears throat> Those in between, just get in where you fit in. Um, you just embody the masculine energy or the feminine energy. First things first, we got God here, King of Swords. God is the source, the creator of all things, the main reason why we're here. Yeah, you know I mean, and God, low maintenance. You know what I mean? He gets you free will. You ain't got to fuck with him if you don't want to. He can be a she, she can be a he. You know how we rock it. You know, main thing is, as long as you fulfilling your obligations as a human being, then you and God is cool at the end of the day. Um, three of Wands, which is purpose, is out here. That's one of the things God wants you to do. The other thing God wants you to do is Two of Wands. Two of Wands, let's make ends meet. That's survival. Birds, bees, roaches, you know what I mean? Cicadas, they all do this shit too. You're going to have to do more than just survive. You know what I mean? This is knowing where to get fish to feed yourself. This is learning how to fish so you ain't got to ask nobody for shit. We fishing out here. You know what I mean? Plus, we got to teach people how to fish or give people extra awareness. Ace of Wands is just awareness. Um, we'll dive into that in a second. But as long as you make it as meat for yourself, you square life. As long as you you know, making your ends meet and taking time out your motherfucking day to help other people because it's a lot of other people that need help. You learn how to help yourself. You can teach somebody how to do that. You're in a position to help. Help somebody. You're talking about genuine help. Divine help. We ain't talking about doing favors because you feel some type of way or guilty or all that other bullshit. We're just talking about general help. If you're going to help people, start with yourself first. God. You got a God. Family, friends, then everybody else. So if you're going to help anybody, help yourself first because you and God are one. If you're not going to help yourself or feel you ain't in a position to do that or don't want to do that, you feel like I'm somebody else so bad, all right, well, help family. Before a friend, fuck friends. <laughs> it's, 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 it's hierarchy. You know what I mean? Why would you go out your way to help a friend when a family is in need? Like, you don't have to start wine. You don't have to take time out your day to do anything. But if you're going to do it, help yourself first. If you ain't helping yourself, help family. If family don't need help, then help friends. Don't help your friend before helping yourself or your family. Just don't make sense there. Clarifying this whole God aspect, we got the Ace of Swords. Which is the step after the King of Swords, which is the Ace of Swords. You know, check out my like, just check out my channel. you really figure out how this language works. I'm about to get up on y'all. So... Swords. Swords. A sword is a thought, decision, a direction you go in, your mentality, your ideology. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's the mind. It's the first step in any process of doing anything. You need to know what the fuck you're doing. Yo, 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 mind is a sword. It's very powerful. And it's also the doorway for the devil or anything in the world to get in your shit. It all starts here. You need to have a really solid direction on where you're going on in life, and that's up. See how this sword points up? This is the first sword in the process. You got ace to ten. That's karmic cycles. You got divines. 
And you got karmics in the world. It's more karmics than divines. 70% karmics, 28% divines. And you got the one, two percenters, and they do what they do. Yeah, I mean, divines are people of light. 70% of the world is just the world. It's the reason why the world looks the way it looks today. Now, it's all mental at the end of the day. God, this whole direction you going on in life, it's all mental at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? But one thing you need to be A for sure of is if there's only one right way. You got left, you got right. There's only one right way. What's that? That's up. What's up? God is what's up. Now, when God pop out, it's usually something good, something bad, or something ugly, which there's only a 33% chance something's going to be bad. But even when it's bad, it's good. Why? Because it's God. God is per perfection in every single way. God don't make mistakes, even if it ain't working for you and your thizzle right now. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, it's all mental how you view God, how you view your direction, how you view your motherfucking self. That's just really important. What's very important is... This fool car you got right here. This is being totally unaware of something. You being in a whole new world like Aladdin. Or some Disney shit. Or are you just a fool about something? Or acting foolish about something or towards something? Clarifying this fool card is the five of swords. This is the focus card. Number one is getting out your head. Four of swords is being two in your head. Four of swords is too much rest, too much relaxation, too much time in your hands. Since you got this much idle time, you might as well do some good with it or help yourself with it or help your family with it. This isn't energy you want to just sit idle mindedly with. That's how the devil come in. And, 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 and another thing, too, Capricorn is y'all represented by the devil card. The devil card is, is Capricorn, just like the strength card is the, the, the Leo. Every side has a card. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, you and the devil... Or one of a kind, baby, and that's just a story we'll get to if your alter ego decides to pop up out here, and we'll dive in that in a second. You a goat, motherfucker. Look at your head. All right, uh, focus. What you need to focus on is the things you're unaware of. Say this shit two more times. You need to focus on the things you're unaware of. You need to focus on the things you're unaware of. Unaware is the key word here. Why? For the queen of swords. Because you need to be ten toes to fuck down on what? Mental. Mental. The, 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 the main path you're supposed to be on. Mental. God. You need to be ten toes to fuck down on what mental direction you're going on in life. And guess what? You doing that is just a step past God himself or herself. Because he could be a she, she could be you know what I'm rocking. You and God are one. But in this sense, Queen of Swords. It's like you want something to happen so bad. Alright? As long as you do everything in your power. Then God got the rest. You a queen, he a king. Trust me, God get the last say so, the last laugh, the final judgment, the final verdict. No, it don't. It, it doesn't be in your hands like that. Part of y'all malfunction caps is the control factor. Take it how you want. Let's get up in here, Capricorn woman. You in regards to yourself coming into the situation, it's like the beginning of this movie. We got the eight of wands here. This is communication. This is an email, texts, calls. Uh, document, book, contract, deed, note. Uh, could you could be you talk to somebody? Could be something that ain't being said. Communication is eighty percent nonverbal, so this could be words that was not said. Let's put more smoke on this. Communication that's coming around. We got the ten of swords, so you're gonna get a. You're gonna hear about a ten of swords. Ten of swords is a death or a permanent ending. This is a death, you know. Uh, could be somebody close. Whoever this person is was very saucy. That means they're one of a kind. That means this, this is just a, a, a very unique individual in your life who really means something. So you got words. Somebody is past or somebody is passing. And it's kind of caught you off guard. Best thing you can do in situations like those are just appreciate the people that they were and keep it moving. Be better than those people. Do better for those people and their family. Try to be the best person you can be for them because that's how they was rocking. You might as well rock like them. If it ain't an actual death, this is you lost a job. You lost a car. You lost something. Whatever it was, it's gone. Can't get it back. Whatever it was, was very crucial to your whole 
demonstration you got going on with, with your life. You know what I mean? But uh, at the end of the day, notes. Eight of Wands, back to the Eight of Wands. Notes, documents, paper trail, receipts. You know what I mean? One thing about y'all caps, y'all stack up on motherfucking ammo when it comes to secrets, information, gossip. You know what I mean? Y'all got like one one thing Capricorn has is just a whole armory. You know what I mean? <laughs> full of gossip, full of secrets, full of other people's business, full of like stockpile ammo. Y'all got an ammo base. And it's like y'all having this ammo base is gonna be very, very, very crucial right now to y'all demonstration. I'm gonna keep it moving. Capricorn male, you in regards to yourself coming into the situation, you got the Knight of Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups is a dream come true. It's a wish granted. You know what I mean? Something in your heart that you want it to happen, it's in the process of happening. It's kind of got a lot to do with this fool card, you being in a whole new world, some Latin shit, you know what I mean? Eight of Swords, self-imposed prison. <laughs> Control factor, going back to the control factor. You're going to get a dream come true or a wish granted again. Or for the first time, but for some again. It's like a second trial, third trial, one of several. Whatever. Dream come true, wish granted. You're going to get something that was on your heart that you wanted, you're finally going to have it. But once you get this dream come true, this wish granted, that's when your eight of sword. Your self-imposed prison is immediately going to fall upon you. Eight of Swords is a self-imposed prison. It's a false ideology, long-standing belief that needs to be eradicated. Uh, walls. You put up against your heart and mind to keep people out your heart and mind. But it's also walls that keep the negative shit that got to come out, toxic shit like that, that needs to come out. It keeps that shit in. You know what I mean? Where it festers to where you just become in a Succumb to a self-imposed prison you put yourself in. It's a self-imposed prison. Don't nobody know you win this shit. But you. It's a self-imposed prison. You got in this shit, so you're going to have to get yourself out of it. You dig? So, final smoke, Capricorn man, on this whole self-imposed prison you in, which is also a false sense of entitlement. You feel somebody owe you something. Life don't work like that. You feel like, uh, I don't know, false sense of environment. You don't know where you stay at. You don't know what type of area you stay in, what type of friends you have, what type of people you got walking around in your life right now who ain't for your good. Then we got a karmic masculine. This is just, <laughs> this is just a guy who's just karmic. Karmic, what's that? It's a person who doesn't have your best interest at heart. It's a person who's definitely unaware. Divines are people with light. Karmics are just unaware people. It's just like Bill and Ted. <laughs> like, instead of growing and developing, you know, as the man you could be, a better man, more independent man, more secure man, a man with ownership, what have you, it's like, K for keep, watch the company you keep, it's like you in the company of no, or nobody but like duhheads, man, I just keep seeing Bill and Ted, it's like you are who you hang around, you are the company you keep. You're going to end up making the same much money as your five best friends. That's why you got to have rich best friends in your circle. That's why you got to have different friends in your fucking circle. You can't keep company like this. This is bad company. You can't keep bad company and expect you not to <laughs> turn to the dark side, Luke. Watch yourself. Capricorn woman, you in regards to yourself personally, you in regards to yourself, yourself, your space, this is all you right here, baby. <laughs> we got the two of pentacles. It's just you and another person in your space, in your face, or in your place. Or in your place. More smoke on that. We got the eight of cups. This is enterprise. This is also uh, the pay the bill card. Goes back where I was saying with the um, Capricorn man. Watch the company you keep. This is a person that's close to you or a person you finna get close to or a person you in business with. Um, contract with, whatever, whatever, whatever this shit is has something to do with enterprise, okay, um, but once again, watch who you enterprise with, this person needs to be on the same level as you, or you need to be doing the 
opposite of mustard with this person, which is catching the fuck up, or this person is in the process of doing the opposite of mustard with you, which is catching the fuck up with you. Like-minded individuals at the end of the day. You know, you are who you hang with. You are who you facilitate yourself with. These are, this is also two people in attendance of something. Business related. Got to pick another card. If it's a red card, it's a warning. Warning. Um, looks like in this business, I don't know, plan you got with this person right here. Seems like only one person is really lining shit up. Seems like one person really has a life that they're kind of taking these pinnacles from to kind of put into this whole venture here. Now, warning. This is Julie Garcia herself, right? This is your shit, your show, your role, right? It's usually, hey, you can take it how I can, you can take it how I can, like, you can take it how I'm giving or you can step. Like, that's usually your demo. You ace boogie with just the, the, the demo. Hey, you take it how I roll or you can go. Like, my way or the highway. The control factor. You usually control your own shit. You usually whatever. Only time your ass take a back seat or a back burner or any type of business shit is if you feel you amongst a person who is way more qualified than you are when probably in reality they're a little lot they're a little lot less stable. <laughs> a little lot less stable than you are. You know what I'm saying? They ain't on your level. It's like you here, they're here, but you think they here and you here. And y'all about to do business or a contract or whatever. Could be somebody working on your house or it could be somebody you start a business with or doing enterprising with or whatever the fuck you enterprising on no warning. Only one person got their life together. Four of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles. What's Eight of Pentacles? That's a life. That's 80%. That's having a life. You got divines and karmics. I told you, majority, most karmics don't really have a life. You can have a mansion and not have a life. A life, that's that shit is it's a whole other thing. All right. What's a pinnacle, by the way? Pinnacles are persons, places, or things. Shit you can taste, touch, see, feel, and hear. Shit that's here. Not finna be here. Not on the way like pinnacles. It's a fucking pinnacle. You're a pinnacle. You're a person, place, or a thing. This planet is a person, place, or a thing. That plant is a person, place, or a thing. Pinnacles, right? Somebody has their life lined up enough to make this happen. And it looks like you're doing it all by yourself. So either you making room for this person, like I said, to do the opposite of mustard so they can bring their ass in the square, in the circle, in the fucking cipher of this enterprise. Or, I mean, shit, my dude, from the looks of it, you can do it your motherfucking self because you do it in any way. Capricorns, look. Everybody ain't on the same page. Another malfunction, Capricorn. Y'all think everybody... Like Lauryn Hill, everything is everything. Y'all think everybody is everybody. No, the song is everything is everything. Not everybody is everybody. Y'all think everybody the same. Y'all treat everybody the same. Y'all treat your friends the same way. Y'all treat your enemies the same way. Y'all treat your fake-ass friends. There is no uh, blurred lines. <laughs> Everybody's one over here. It's all love. No, fuck out of here. <laughs> no. No. It's people who fuck with you the long way that you don't fuck, that you fuck with a short way just to keep your leash big enough to fuck with everybody. It's people you ain't even building with. You ain't even diving into like infinite waters with. It's people you ain't connected with that's been in your life for a long ass time. It's people that think the world of you, but you don't really think too much because there's too many people you think about around this motherfucker. Fuck everybody. I'm telling you, y'all, everybody's your friend. When in reality, it's only a handful of people that know you, but you don't really fuck with the handful of people that know you, who need you, who you need to know, or, you know, nah, you fucking with the rest of the world. Put too many time, too much time, energy, and resources fucking on everybody. Except for like the main people you call yourself fucking with or need to be fucking with. These are the people who's going to be with you when you old and feeble and ain't hot and popping. And you know what I mean? Like, I mean, we all adults, but just like babies, we age the babies and shit. Somebody got to take care of us, Joe. 
That's the long-term effect on life. That's why you have beautiful people, be a beautiful person in your life, so you can die beautiful and not die ugly like I've seen a lot of a lot happen in institutionalized places and shit. You know what I'm saying? Seeing all that shit, say this. Don't get close to anybody. If you're going to make moves with anybody, if you're going to do a power play with anybody, do it with the person who fucks with you the most. Do it with your real best friend. Not one of your many fake-ass best friends. Your real one. Your real one. If you have one. <laughs> if you have one. Um, Capricorn, man, you in regards to the feminines in your life, just the women in your life. It's like your sisters, your mother, uh, gay best friend, niece, daughter, grandmother, shit, shit of that sort. You get the five of cups. This is uh, emotional isolation. Also loneliness, you know, feeling very alone, very alone to the point where to the point where three of cups, you've become distracted or an official third party, but we ain't going to go there. Damn, all these warnings out here, caps. <laughs> um, shit. Capricorn male, you're just going through some um going through some shit. You know, <clears throat> you know, for some caps, it's that time of the year where I don't know, your mother who's not here anymore, it's around her birthday time, you know, your ex-wife, the, the day the day you and your ex-wife got married or some shit or engaged to some shit and it didn't happen or some shit, you're like thinking about that. Or remember what could have been. All this shit is what could have been. All this shit is the past. All this shit is past from you. It's not shit. It's important, but this is things you've been going over and over and over and over for for it seems like a long time. <laughs> Very long time. Queen of Cups. That's visions, fantasies, dreams, signs, synchronicities, writings on the walls. Communication with the other side. Like you stay distracted by, I don't know. I'm getting a few energies here. I'm, I got like a cigarette on this shit. Capricorn male, you guys are feminine energy. This is the energy of like, you lost your mom, auntie, grandmother, or something like that. You see them in their dream, like you see them in your dreams all the time. To the point where you look forward to seeing them in your dreams all the time. Hypothetically speaking, I don't know. It's like you come to find out when you sleep by yourself. Or when you alone, you see them more. So that you see them when it's people in your life. And so you put in your head a long time ago that you were going to be alone in order to have this alone time with these fallen feminine energies who you cherish and love so much. It's all mental. Not in a bad way, but you're really going to have to look at the shit. Flip side, on another note, it's like, you think of what could have been. Oh, if you would have married her, if you would have stayed with her. You can be, she, she can be, you know, you're rocking. It's like, the what ifs. You really picture a whole life, like fantasy, like Disney, or what life could have been if you went in that direction, or if you would have took that path for that choice, or maybe if your baby mama was this person, or whatever the fuck, you get to thinking on that note, like your daughter, if you had your daughter with her instead of, you know what I mean? Like that type of shit. In the final note, you ain't got none of that, but you get shown it. And you don't know where to start looking. You don't know where to start looking. So, where we going? Capricorn woman, you in regards to the masculine energies in your life, same way Capricorn man was with the women in his life, this is like you with the men in your life. So, coming to men in your life, you got the nine of swords. This is Losing sleep, losing teeth, losing hair, losing weight, or gaining weight the wrong way. Not because of a man, but because of mannish tendencies. You know? This is also the step before the Ten of Swords, which is death or permanent ending, which came out in your energy. Some of you knew that was going to happen. Because it's that clear. More smoke on this Nine of Swords. Got the Ten of Cups. This is happiness or emotional contentment. 
Happiness is a feeling. What's a feeling? What's a cop? It's a feeling or emotion. What's a feeling and emotion? This is an indicator of what mental direction you're going in life, having your heart and mind aligned before you start doing shit, wands and manifesting things, pinnacles. You got to end things to begin things. You know that shit. It was a ten of swords. It was a permanent ending that happened. And now we have a new beginning. Got this happiness. Just taking a step back to really either A, move on from this masculine energy that you're passing from or to learn more from this masculine energy you're passing through. Final smoke on it. Seven of Wands, internal conflict. This is part of your big scars, your big wounds. You know, them core wounds that really need to get healed and fixed. Like I say, it's a 24-hour job healing yourself. That shit's nonstop. At least you're doing it. Like I say, karmics, majority of the world, they don't deal with this type of shit. They ain't ready for this type of shit, but you all about it. And that's what's up. Speaking of that's what's up, Capricorn man, you in regards to yourself personally, it looks like you finna find purpose or you about to align with your purpose or purpose is going to find you. You're going to align with your purpose. Purpose is going to align with you. Or you're going to find your purpose. I mean, your purpose is like really going to find you. Hit you with like a 10 ton gorilla. You know, <laughs> Clarifying that, we got the nine wands. Speaking of getting hit like a 10 ton gorilla, we got the wounded warrior. <laughs> this is usually our purpose rose. Once you find your true path in life, it's, like I say, it's one thing just maintaining. You working and making ends meet and just surviving. I told you, birds do that shit. Bees do that shit. We roaches do that shit. Mice do that shit. You gotta do more than make ends meet. You gotta do more than survive. You gotta do more than just live comfortably. You gotta thrive. You don't survive, thrive. You don't dwell, you excel. You know what I mean? You 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 evolve. How do you evolve? It just takes more actions, more wands. What are wands? Things you're doing, things you've done. Not things you're finna do because you ain't did the shit yet. It's also behavior. A new change of behavior or a new change in action is going to make you do what you've been doing, but do something outside of that to bless other people. And once you do that, God going to bless you for it. But you ain't in the business of blessings. That's what the fuck you supposed to be doing? That's your path. That's your purpose. Whatever that is. <laughs> Whether that's singing for the old folks at the old folk home, feeding the hungry, or... You just being your genuine self to the public who needs you right now. Your influence, your guiding, your whatever you're giving out here. It's wands, whatever it is, behavior, whatever it is, it's actions that you're doing. And you know, the reason why you kind of so hurt is because you see, I don't know, five more actions you got to do after you just hit this pinnacle in life. It's all passion and purpose is. Once you have one person, you see, damn, it's a whole world that needs help. <laughs> Once you find enlightenment, you see, damn, it's a whole world that needs light. Once you chop a head off one snake, you see, fuck, the world is full of snakes. <laughs> Once you win one battle, you understand that the world is full of wars, man. It's a never-ending battle. That's why it's divine. That's why when you find your path and your purpose, you wear like a badge of honor or a rapper's chain and you get with the business. Whatever you're doing to help people, not people helping you, whatever you're doing to help people, because you're in a position to help them. If you're in a position to help them, help yourself first, then family, then your friends and the rest of the world and shit like that. Main energy you need to keep going into this whole you finding yourself shit. We got the King of Cups. This is the highest form of emotion you can be on. It's also a 1950s, 1960s dad. So the emotions just say, fuck it. <laughs> fuck it. If it's not paying my bills, if it's not helping me as a person, growing me as a person, if it's not helping my family or growing my family, because we don't give a fuck about friends here, because, I mean, shit, this is a family affair right here. This is a personal affair right here before it's friends, the world, anybody outside your fucking house who need anything. You need to make sure your home is straight, that you straight, right? Anything outside your doors right now, it's fuck it. Okay, you being all nice now, I don't want to be all diplomatic and shit now, but let's just say another 
epidemic pop off. Let's just say, I don't know, World War III jump off or some shit like that. You ain't going to be so welcoming to the outside world now, is you? Yeah, we get trained. It starts at home. Training starts at home. All right? <laughs> Wrapping this up, uh, Capricorn Woman, you go into the future moving fast and fiercely towards your divine direction. This is just being on your J for job in life and just being where the fuck you need to be right now. Everything is aligned and happening just the way it's supposed to be. Say that with confidence. Clarifying that, we have either you, if you're a divine, if you know what I'm talking about, this could be a divine feminine like your mother, grandmother, uh, older sister, mentor, professional colleague, boss, whatever. She's a good person. She does a lot of good works. This is kind of person you kind of strive to be or at least being aligned to kind of be their predecessor or some shit like that. You know, wherever this person is, you and this person is going to come together like butt cheeks. Y'all gonna form like Voltron. It's like Power Rangers form into the, the Megazord. It's like Double Dragon putting their medals, medallions together and shit and kicking some ass out here. It's probably this person that you had right here. <laughs> you know what I mean? You, I told you, motherfuckers gotta catch up to your level. Boom. Like-mindedness. Either you doing, it looks like you doing the opposite of mustard on this person or this person is doing the opposite of mustard. With you. Either way, y'all lighting in actions, fusing, like I say, like a fucking Megazord, Power Ranger Megazord. So, congratulations on this enterprise. You and this good person, for those that got a good person, has started here. If it ain't a person on no business shit, this is just, um, you know, you getting closer to, a, you know, a feminine person in your life. Capricorn Bell going to the future. You have an Ace of Pentacles. This is a big ass check. A huge announcement, an engagement. You know, like this is that engagement ring you've been looking for for Shorty. This is that uh, new contract you've been waiting to get that good assistance for your little care package and shit for your house and all that there. Property is some shit. This is something good for your property. This is something, it's like a new addition. Well, there it is. It's huge. And you're in attendance of it. It's very important. Something very important is going to come up in the future. This thing is going to make things click. Six of Swords. That's um, that's going with the flow. If shit click, click with it. Don't go against the grain. If shit click, click with it. Aside from if shit click, it click with it. It's like shit. There is no obstacle here. There is nothing in your way. Once this a for Y, once you acquire this, it looks like an asset too. Once this is acquired, things are going to start running smoothly in your life. And we got the Eight of Pentacles, that's your life in the car. <laughs> once you get this, your life, Eight of Pentacles is your life, it's going to start running smoothly. Then you have that Nine of Pentacles, who is that? Oh, well. Like I said, Eight of Pentacles, that's your life, that's your house, that's your home, that's the people in it. You see how scattered it is? Let's look at your, let's look at the Capricorn Feminine. She got what you got too. Four of four, that's Eight of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. But look how she lined her shit up. She made room for, for a person to be in a life or something to be in a life just like you. And guess what? She went to the future getting it. That's that thing. This is what you have. It fits. See, this thing can't fit in your life right now because you ain't lined it up. You ain't got room to receive it. Make sure you get it. That's the message I got. I can be a good use. It's your boy D. Boom. Please stay tuned for more messages.